I want to bring this up quickly because, you know, it's somebody that I had a childhood crush on. No, I know what you're thinking. It's not Rosie O'Donnell. Christy, no. Uh, no, uh, no. Kelly Preston. Oh, yeah. Um, so I grew up, uh, I met John Travolta when I was like 15 years old, and I always remember he could not have been nicer. Yeah. Um, I met him because he was speaking at some sort of engagement. I went with my family, and I met him afterwards, and it was like the first big celebrity that I met in my life. And he signed a picture for me, and I still have it to this day, and it says, Live Your Dreams, Brian, John Travolta. And he was such like a... I've never met anybody like a celebrity like that in all my years that was just so cool. Like he was so like he wanted to know about me. Hey, what do you want to be when you grow up and all this other stuff? And he was just I was just talking about, you know, hey, I want to play golf at the time. I wanted to be a professional golfer. And but he just seemed so cool and down to earth. And um, I don't think that was at the time where he started dating Kelly Preston yet. I might be wrong on that. I'm not sure. How but, old were you? Uh, I was 15. So 96? Yeah, but Kelly, maybe. But uh, Kelly Preston, you know her in, in the movie Twins, and, and she, got, she's got a, she had a great movie career. Jerry Maguire. Yeah, she's, she's yeah. not only is she a fantastic actress and very talented, but also a very nice person from what I understood from many people that worked with her and knew her. Absolutely beautiful, like a childhood crush of mine. And uh, I had no idea what she was going through. I had no idea that she had breast cancer. No clue. And they kept it probably very private. Remember, this is a family. Do you remember John, their son? Jet. Do you remember that mm -hmm. story? Didn't he drown? Like No, a, he died of Kawasaki disease. But I thought they had another kid who drowned or something. Am I wrong on that one? Maybe I'm wrong on that. But I know that that family has gone through some horrible tragedies. And I can't even imagine the pain they're going through now. She was in her 50s, Kelly Preston. 57. That's horrible. Mm, she died I mean, of She was a young lady. Yep, a two-year battle with breast cancer that she just lost. She was young, mm -hmm. and uh, and she and she still. I mean, from the pictures that I saw, the recent pictures, she still looked pretty good. She looked I mean, great. Yeah, she she didn't look she yeah. didn't look fifty seven, and she didn't look very sick. But again, I don't know when those pictures were taken. It's really sad, man, and that's why you know you always got to live for today. And I know that's kind of a cliche, and a lot of people say, Brian, why are you why are you going crazy today? Why are you doing this today? Why do you always have to spend money on concerts and and go to these great restaurants, Brian? You can't afford that. Why are you? I say, well, you know what, man? When you die, it doesn't matter how much money you have. I mean, yeah, you could talk about how much money you leave to your family, but, uh, I mean, you know, that's why I always say live for today, man. And, and she, she certainly lived a great life, and she had a great career, but I'm just, sh you're just shocked when you hear somebody like that dying at such a young age, right? I mean, you know, there's some actors out there that when they, when they die in their 90s, you're not too surprised about it, right? There are certain people in, in the music industry, like, for example, when B.B. King passed away, were we shocked? The man was the man had a long life. You know, there's a lot of people out there who say, Well, you know what, he he's great, it was long. But when you hear of somebody in their late fifties yeah. dying, it's totally it's, different. Yeah, it's a completely different circumstance. And I hope John Travolta and his family get through it okay. I can't even imagine the pain they're suffering. John Travolta, again, one of the greatest actors of my generation, right? I mean, he's awesome. Uh, Pulp Fiction's one of my favorite movies of all time, by the way. Did I watch I watched From Paris with Love last week with John Travolta, where he plays uh, Charlie Wax. The, the special operative for the, the United States, you know, whatever, Air Force or Army. Mm -hmm. And great movie. John, John Travolta, is he's an exceptional actor. He can do a lot of different roles, and everything he's done, is, from, from, from what I've seen, he's been pretty pretty good in. I Except just saw, Gotti. Gotti was terrible. <laughs> well, I just saw a Kelly Preston movie uh, with, with Kevin Bacon. Um, that was really good the other day. I was just watching it on HBO. And, yeah didn't even occur to me. I had no idea. I don't think anybody knew. I think the family kept this very private, which is totally understandable. They kept it very private that she was suffering from cancer. Usually, I, I don't know the death rate with this, but if a woman detects breast cancer early, usually they can survive it, my understanding. Um, but you never know. There's no guarantees in life, and cancer is an extremely serious thing, and it's, uh, it's terrible. So anyway, thoughts and prayers go out to uh, Kelly Preston's family, John Travolta, it's just it's a horrible thing, and, and uh, she'll certainly be remembered as uh, not only a absolutely stunning and beautiful and talented actress, but a really good person, too. Her and, and John Travolta have done so many good things for so many people when it comes to charity. Yeah. Uh, they've been involved with a lot of different things that have helped a lot of people, and uh, they've been always one of those really cool you know, celebrity couples that are really good people that have done a lot of good things. Much different than Will Smith and Jada Pinkett Smith. Uh, yeah, we'll get into that tomorrow. Uh, there's some weird shenanigans going on in that relationship.